So you're in Chicago for just one day and you want to make the most of your time? Well, don't worry. Help us here. I'm Frank Moran, and for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be showing you the best places and the coolest sites the Windy City has to offer. Hi, everybody. Frank Moran coming to you from the 2008 San Diego Comic-Con. Frank Moran coming to you from Terre Haute, Indiana, from the boardwalk here in Santa Monica. You're going to see stuff in here you've never dreamed of. Come with me. It's the new weapon, the weapon of choice. Welcome everybody to the greatest spectacle in racing. I'm Frank Moran, coming to you from the 92nd running of the Indianapolis 500. How long have you guys been here today? Uh, I've been drunk since yesterday, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Good deal, there you go. So yeah. you're probably not going to remember much of this race tomorrow. The past three years, I remember 15 laps. <laughs> I, my first time here, but I've always heard that it's just tremendously loud. So are you a fan of the earplugs or no earplugs? No earplugs. No earplugs at all. Go big or go home. But it's not like a football game where you can actually hear each other and talk. I mean, when this thing's going on, there's no really oh, talking yeah. amongst yourself. There's no real talking. Just... So basically, once they say, uh, gentlemen, start your engines, you just said to your friends, all right, I'll talk to you in two and a half hours. Exactly. Listen to the sound of those engines. I tell you, man, those guys are right. You definitely don't want earplugs. It is cool to feel the sounds coming right to the stage. It's so vibrating. This is cool. If you love pop culture, this is the place to be. For the next four days, 125,000 people are coming here for the best in comic books, film, television, and video games. What's really cool, though, is a lot of people dress up in costume. So I thought I'd go around today and see what people are wearing to the con. Let's go take a look. Scooby Shaggy here. Right, is there a mystery afoot that I don't know about here at the convention? Emma Frost here, a resident telepath. Right, right. All right, so what am I thinking right now? You're thinking that you're trying not to stare at my boobs. Man, she, all right. She is a psychic. Spartans, really, when you got up this morning, how many crunches did you have to do before you came here? I have to admit, I'm a bit of a nerd. I have a PhD. But well, when... uh, you have to admit you're a bit of a nerd. I wouldn't have guessed that at all. What? What are you saying? I feel very weird. I mean, of course, for the sake, we got to go to your voice box down there, so it feels like I'm talking to your penis. At least buy me dinner first. You know what? I'm in the mood to meet some new people, which means it's time for another edition of Ferris Wheel Interviews. So are children uh, our future then? Or do you teach them well and let them lead the way? I do, I do. There you, go. you show them all the beauty that they possess inside? <laughs> I can't believe how many words that this sound that I know in my head right now. It's freaking me out. I thought I'd check out what the story is about getting your own tattoo. We've got a blank canvas right here. I've come to buy the electric tattoo here at Melrose. Let's get it done. All right, first thing before you put any ink on you is you gotta sign off on the waiver where they ask you all these questions to make sure you're not drunk or regretting this. But I know I'm definitely not pregnant, so I can check off on that. So what's the weirdest thing that somebody's requested for you to tattoo? Um, penis. Yeah. Uh, actually, on their penis or a tattoo of a penis? Damn it! Just if you wanna hear. Wow, that was pretty awesome. A chocolate part bigger than the size of my head. And just so you know, that is extremely huge because I'm rocking a giant pumpkin on top of these shoulders. Well, that's going to do it for me. I'd like to talk to you more, but actually they made me an official Hershey's factory worker while I was in there. So I'm going to head back and hit those chocolate mines. Oh, let's do one more for the road. Why not? But after everything I've seen and eaten today, I'm leaving with one more reminder of why America's so great. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Having a good time? We don't just drink our Coke. We also fry it. Well, you're a very sexy man. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to have a moment. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. All right. I'm Frank Moran, and I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.